Hi there, welcome back to my shop. I started wood turning in early 2007, and I know that because my friends Robin and Vera gave me this branch off of a black ash tree very shortly after I started. And it's marked the 27th of May, 2007. And this ought to be dry by now, so I thought I would try making something with this. Robin, in fact, is the guy who designed the logo that I use, and he did that back before I discovered wood turning and pretty much gave up on flat work forever. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to knock off about eight or nine inches of this, take it over to the lathe, and I hope you'll meet me there. All right, I'm going to try to make perhaps a goblet with this. Part of the problem is that the pith is running right down the center. So I can't really turn this very thin in the stem. Also, it's going to be a maximum of perhaps an inch and a quarter in diameter. In fact, on this other end, it'll likely only be just barely, if any, over an inch in diameter. So I'm going to set this back between these centers and see what I can come up with here. got quite a crack across here and I don't think it's going to go all the way to the center but just in case since I'm turning this away anyhow I'm going to use some Starbond thin CA glue and pour it in there I'm pretty much done for the day anyhow so because I'm turning this away if it runs down along the side like that I don't have to worry about it too much. So I'm going to let this set overnight and I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you're still around.
I have sanded all of it now from 120 grit up to 320. Now I'm going to put sanding sealer on here and I'm going to use shellac this time. So I have some shellac I have mixed up and I will turn this at just 100 RPM, put a thin coat on, on the outside here and on the inside. And the reason I'm doing this just halfway down is that the further I get toward here, the more vibration it is. So I want to finish this, then get down here, not thin it out too much and cause even more vibration. It just makes it more difficult to turn. So I'm going to put on two coats of this. And then I'm going to use Axe Pastes. I'll put some around here where there's some bark as well. Right now would be as bad a time as I could think of to have a problem. All I need is for this tool to slip and I think I'd be a little upset. Alright, I'll just use a carving tool to get rid of that little knob there, and then I believe it's finished. It's a very pretty wood. I just want to taper this down so I can get the hot glue gun in there better. I have a small block that I want to turn for a base for that piece. Mark the center. I'm going to put it on there. Hold it with the live center in the tailstock and then use hot glue. I'll give that a few minutes to cool down and then I'll come back to turn this. Now my next step, I want to drill a hole 
in the center of this piece that will fit this end of the piece I turned. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to come up with the correct size for this end. One thing all woodworkers seem to like is tools, and I'm certainly no exception. I've had this set of Forstner bits from Lee Valley for at least 25 years, and they go from one quarter inch to one inch. Very handy tools to have. Over a matter of time, I purchased each of these bits individually, and after I had them all going from one and one sixteenth up to two inch in one sixteenth inch increments, I drilled this set of holes to fit them into this board. And one of the things that's very handy about this is not just that it holds these bits and keeps them out of the way, but that I can use these holes to measure the size of dowels, tenons, whatever I need to measure. And it just so happens that one and one sixteenth is exactly what fits this piece. So I am going to drill a one and one sixteenth inch hole into this base and then I can use that to set this into it. All right, that should glue in there just fine. Now, even though I do have a lot of faith in hot glue, it's not a bad idea to have the live center up there for some support. All right, got a bit of an OG shape on there. Let's see how that looks on the end of this. I think I should come down a little, little narrower on here. I think that's going to do. I am just going to sand this, use Axe Pastes on it, Glue this in.